So I had pretty much a decade of really amazing, just allowing abundance, love, money, friends. So what you're saying to us is your observation of your environment and calibrating to that positive environment perpetuated it. I am saying that and the challenge that I have found recently is that I'm judging my current place by other people's vision. This is exactly what we were talking about earlier that when you calibrate to the good stuff then you have that tendency to calibrate to the bad stuff too. It's this I feel like I'm a pinball. If you're looking there for it because there's some of all of it there but when you look only to your inner being to your source there's no back and forth in that it's all pure positive energy. It's like a big water slide for yeah. 10 years it was just and there were ups and downs but it was all happy. isn't it easy to understand that in other words when the good times are rolling you just observe them and it keeps the good times going but it puts a lot of responsibility on others on the economy on things that you cannot control and so if you are a calibrator to observation you're screwed well it's like I'm, I'm in a constant arm wrestle or something with myself because I I I want to focus and deliberately allow but what I want to allow is what has already happened and I can't have what I already have so I have to move forward and I'm stuck thinking about what's happened so between what you've said and what we have said before you got here we've chewed this over pretty well in other words it's easy to understand all of that so now what are we going to do about it because you could just decide that it's fine to focus on conditions and it is but you're going to be more selective in the conditions that you focus on and you're just going to mostly look for positive aspects that serves you well but it's also very helpful and very much more powerful to decide that you're going to focus into your vortex which is forward rather than into your past experiences the past and the present really are not helpful to where you are going but because humans and we don't mean to sound critical when we use the term human but <laughs> but there is this thing that you commonly do where the manifestation is the main event for you so you are so manifestation oriented you want to look at manifestations and you want to sort them good bad good bad right wrong wanted unwanted manifestation 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 if we could get you hooked on the dynamism the dynamics of energy in motion if we could convince you that where it's at is in the emotional vibrational realm so that you don't care so much about the manifestation this is going to be a stretch for you but this is what we mean if we could get you hooked on planting seeds and less hooked on harvesting the crop if you could mean it when you say planting the seeds is so much fun planting the seeds is so much fun and it will turn out great but that's not what I'm focusing on I'm finding the new field and I'm finding the new version of the seed and I'm planting the seed and everything else will take care of itself if the manifestation could be just a little less importance and the fun of the new thought and the fun of the calibrating and the fun of the new idea and the fun of then watching the cooperative components showing themselves to you when you get on these kind of roles where you can just feel the unfolding happening the unfolding not the having already unfolded the unfolding the unfolding the unfolding we try to suck you into this way of thinking when we say to you you're not ever going to get it done you can't get it wrong you're never get it done you're never going to get it done you're never going to get it done you're never going to get it done so you might as well just give in to the undoneness of it but some things look done when you get that new car it looks done it's pretty it shines and it runs good and other people see it and you get high fives over it and <laughs> manifestations are fun we just want them to be not as much fun as what leads up to them because there's all these thoughts turning to things it's like the gestation period all these thoughts turning to things and then there's the thing but once the thing is turned to once the thought has turned to the thing it's kind of done it's kind of like I I'm excited to move forward but I'm afraid to let go you don't have to let go. You well, I can't let go because I know it. Ha all I, I know that the really good trapeze artists, though, they fly for a little while, and they like flying. They like flying. Those that just hang on and then hang on, nobody goes to see them. 
doesn't look that much fun. It doesn't look that much fun, but those are fly. Whoa. So do you not trust that there's something there that's going to catch you? If you don't believe there's something there to catch you, don't let go. But focus on trusting that there's something there that you're going to. So that sort of gives you a little insight, doesn't it? You want to make where you're going more real. If where you're going doesn't feel as real as where you are, it wouldn't be wise to let go. But the work is to make where you're going so real that you can't not go there. And to us, it feels easy because we're already over there. We've tested it all out. We've gathered all the cooperative components. It's a done deal. We know it works. We know it works. Come on. We know it works. Come on over. We know it works. Come on over. We know it works. Come on over is what your inner being is saying. You just got to come to trust that more than what is. Because what is, as solid as it is, is boring. It's like gum you've chewed the flavor out of. And there's a subtle difference between knowing and doing and knowing what to do and doing what I know. So I've done that. I've been like authentic to me and grew and like had all this great joy. Let's and talk then... about this in real terms. The manifestation that is solid in Israel that you're afraid to leave is one thing. You can tell us what it is if you want to. And what you're wanting to go to is something else. You want to talk about it? Yeah. Because the truth is for me to even begin to, I guess, complain about the stuff in my life. I mean, I have love and money and happiness and I help people grow. You don't and have do all to that explain stuff. to us that I'm you not, want more. I'm not. Uh, but I do want more. And then I feel guilty that I want more because the people I'm helping. But so you do feel like you have to explain to us why you want more. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so when we say you don't have to explain to us why you want more, you don't have to explain to us because we are the more that you want. We're standing over here with all your stuff. Are you ever going to come and get it? <laughs> are you ever going to come and get it? The cooperative components have gathered it all up. It's here just for you. Have you ever given something to someone and they just give it back? I can't take this. Oh, please take it. You're asking for it. It's all lined up. You're all lined up. Oh, your inner being never suffers. We're just acting ridiculously like a human for a minute because we've enjoyed every bit of the unfolding of all of it and the unfolding is still occurring you ought to get in on the fun of what you've created but i feel it's a little bit like esther's house and the people that don't don't live in it as i get more abundant the people that i get less understanding and a little bit more pushback from just the people around me and i don't want to change people so I'm stuck. You know what helps? What helps is to not push back at them, but to understand them. Just understand where they're coming from. They're not poverty conscious focused on purpose. They're not doing it deliberately. They don't mean to be jealous. They don't mean to try to rationale against you and for themselves. It comes back to what we were talking about earlier. It is the trying to harmonize and the not yet having tasted the deliciousness of the true harmony and calibration with the whole of who you are. It's one thing to harmonize with conditions and humans that you have some vibrational matches to, but it's a whole other thing to harmonize with the whole of who you are. It's the difference between exaltation and a good time. It's big. It's the difference between a firecracker and an atomic bomb. The relationship is so huge. And what it really comes down to, we've said it in lots of ways. Some of them don't sound that kind, but we always mean them to be kind. You just can't care what somebody else thinks because they don't have the capacity to see what you're seeing. One of the greatest ironies of the current state of the human condition is that almost everyone wants abundance and almost everyone condemns it when they see it. It's like almost all women want to be skinny and they almost all condemn it when they see it. <laughs> almost all women want really beautiful handbags, but they condemn them when they see them. <laughs> you know what she paid for that? That's ridiculous. I could feed my family for a week on that. <laughs> you cannot push against what you want to attract. And so. But how do you stop pushing when <clears throat> I didn't well, notice I was well, pushing? That's the best question I, in the world. I know you just stop. Well, the thing is, you can't stop doing something.
Because the law of attraction won't let you. You can just start doing something else. Because you can't do that and that at the same time. So if, if you're thinking about where you're going and who you are, rather than pushing against something else, the answer to that question is you got to do it an easier way. And the easier way is meditate because then you, when you meditate, you quiet your mind. And when you get the hang of that, then you start out in a higher vibration that has more power. Let us explain it to you in this way. And this is something that a lot of people, even though they've heard us for a while, still don't really get the benefit of this understanding. So you are you, but you're more than this body. There's a whole lot more of you. There's all of this non-physical energy that has achieved the manifestation of you is still pouring into you. In other words, when you're born, you never stop being born. I haven't said that before the life force that is you didn't oh he's born let him go <laughs> splat he's done no the life force keeps flowing to you which means attention to you consciousness about you communication with the cells of your body in the same way that consciousness was aware of you when you were in your mother's womb consciousness is aware of you all the time too so it's an ongoing Thoughts turning to things, thoughts turning to things, thoughts turning to things, thoughts turning to things. It's just always this continuous cycle of thoughts turning to things. So this non-physical part of you is pure positive energy. Now think about what we've been saying about the law of attraction and how whatever you're putting out is what you're getting back. But now, just for a moment, split yourself in two. We don't want you to split yourself in two, but we want you to focus on the two aspects of you. There's the human you and there's the non-physical you. The non-physical you is pure positive energy. The non-physical you has a point of attraction that has no resistance in it. The physical you has some resistance and some not resistance. And so the non-physical part of you is powerful in its attraction one who's connected to this source energy more powerful than millions who aren't so the non-physical part of you is powerful the physical part of you is powerful to the degree that you're high-fiving your inner being It's powerful to the degree that you are in harmony with your inner being so all day every day you've got choices about what influence you're under are you under the influence of your inner being if you are you're powerful and people are taking notice because big things are happening around you mostly you're really happy but if you are like most humans and instead focused on this condition and what this person thinks and what this person thinks and what this person thinks then you're indeliberately or deliberately usually indeliberately introducing into your vibrational equation a bunch of resistance that's slowing you way down now that would be fine if you weren't asking for things and your inner being weren't calling you if your inner being weren't calling you your reluctance to go wouldn't bother you if you didn't ask for something not going wouldn't feel like negative emotion if somebody called you on the telephone and said hello you don't know me I'm just calling to tell you that I'm not ever going to call you again <laughs> you would say good to know goodbye you wouldn't suffer over it if somebody that you care about were to give you that information you would suffer and so your inner being is calling you toward what you have asked for what you are asking for towards your current dynamic active creations that are underway you have so many active creations that are underway and your inner being is calling you so it really sort of comes down to we're just gonna be blunt about this you got some choices to make are you going with who you really are where all the power is or are you gonna hold back so that you don't look bad to other creators who don't know what they're doing are you gonna join the ranks of the disenfranchised and the gimpy and the resentful and the misunderstanding or are you gonna harmonize with who you really are and all of your power you see